The day is here. The match everyone has been talking about, and with good reason. Two teams of strong pedigree, rich in talent, on the cusp of going head-to-head -head in a highly significant confrontation with so much to play for. How will it pan out? Stay with us, you won't miss a minute of action. And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And you can really sense the anticipation in the crowd ahead of kickoff with their respective league seasons about to get underway. It's Newport County, and they face Forest Green Rovers. Well, thanks, Derek. These away fans come here fully expecting their team to win the title this season. If that's to be the case, they need to get off to a good start and win this game. Well, here is the lineup for the hosts today. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. Opportunity. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. winning back possession now the situation has changed in one of the other games I'm hearing let's go to Alex Scott yeah it's a goal for Crawley Town they're the first on the score sheet here with only nine minutes played thanks as always to Alex Scott Vogel well he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent so what should we expect to see from him in this game Stuart well, we know he's a good all-round player, but his strength is when balls are rolled into him. He can hold up the play, he can roll defenders, he can get away from them, and that's key to the way his team want to play. When they get the ball into him, that's when they're at their strongest. And possession changing hands. They're racing away here. Likes to run with the ball at his feet. Jordan Garrick determined defending McLaughlin plenty of running room in the wide position but he knew he had to get to the ball and he did Harry Charsley Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Must take the lead here, and they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, we won't get tired of watching this, because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. 1-0 then. Number 29, Reese Brown. Aaron Wilding. Garrick. Jordan Garrick. Goal on the ball. Looking for the final pass that will open things up. Chance to cross. There's a cut back. Oh, not to be. That would have put them well on their way, Stuart. Well, that could prove to be a big miss. Surely has to score there. Well, he's lost the ball. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick.
And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Now sending it in. Just knocked it out of there. And the defensive intervention there. Harry Charsley. Young. Now someone has scored in one of the other matches. Let's find out exactly who. Alex Scott will tell us. Yep, it's a goal for Mansfield Town. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 31 minutes played. And it's gone in. Just what the doctor ordered. Things looking very bright for them now with this buffer. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Stevens. And passing it well. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And the keeper's hand does the trick. And it's gone behind for the corner. Here it is now, a substitution. Oh, disappointing clearance. Well, no way through in the end. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. Oh, great vision. A good vision there. A glorious chance. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. Well, here's the replay, and it just highlights his skill level here. He does so well to keep it down. That's a really good half volley. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. A oh, strong hand on the ball. McLaughlin. Harry Charsley. Well, conceding the throw in. Good challenge. Baker. an effective clearance he'll have a go here oh he really bruised the crossbar now this could be productive oh the flag's gone up and there wasn't much in that that's a good looking ball and the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Giving the ball away. Fed forwards. And couldn't quite keep the header down. Wood with it. 
Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, at £30 million or thereabouts, he represents good value for money. He's got a lot of skill, and I think he'll add quality to their squad. There's no doubt about that. Goal. And in the right position to read it. Now, who can he play it to? He continues his run. And under no real pressure as he brought the ball down. I believe there's been a goal in one of the other matches. Alex Scott has the details. Yeah, it's a goal for Tranmere Rovers. The goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. They've pulled one back with 56 minutes played. What a game of football we have on our hands here today, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Brown. Stevens. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? And putting pay to the danger. Vital intervention. Now the counter-attack looks on. But the danger averted for now. Well, that's wonderful attacking play. Good defending in the end, and danger averted for now. Goal on the ball. Well, good run and good ball control. Really vital interception here. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defenders just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Evans. Well, news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alex Scott. Yeah, another goal for Swindon Town. They're now behind by one with 68 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Reese Brown. Hanging on to the ball in this fashion suits them. Not looking all that comfortable on the ball. This attack looks highly promising. Wood. And that's a straightforward stop. Goal. Brown. And the right place to cut out the pass. Charlesley. Zini. And delivered into the box. So now a corner. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, the header needed to be a lot better than that. Didn't really make the keeper work. Adam Lewis. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Unable to keep the ball that time. So on the cusp of the final whistle, and the visitors very much in command, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Well, he must get rid of the ball.
An important interception. A goal has been scored in one of the other games. Alex Scott has the news. It's another goal for Bradford City. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 87 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. A well, chance, perhaps, not to be in terms of the finish. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Yeah, it was a good result. They played well, and they're now up and running. That's just what they wanted.